Welcome to Practice Better. In this video, I'll walk you through using journals in the Client Portal. From the My Journal widget on your Client Portal dashboard, you'll be able to see how many food, lifestyle, and water entries you've made for the day. You can quickly add entries by selecting the Add button next to a journal or by selecting the Red Fast Action button and choosing between Log Food, Log Water, or Log a Lifestyle Entry. Practice Better Journals also integrate with Chronometer, Fitbit, and Apple Health. To link a tracking app to your Practice Better account, simply navigate to the gear icon and click on Third Party Integration. From there, you can enter your credentials. Once your tracking app is linked with Practice Better, your nutritional, activity, sleep, measurements, or menstrual cycle data will sync automatically to your journals. If you select the View Entries button within the widget, it'll take you into your journal. This is where you can add new journal entries or view historical ones. You can also navigate to your journals by going to My Resources Journals. When viewing your journals under the All Entries tab, you'll have a consolidated view of both your food and lifestyle journals. This allows you to see entries from both journals in one place. You can also select the Food and Mood or Lifestyle tab to view one journal at a time. On the left-hand side, you'll see a calendar that shows the current dates selected as well as days you've made journal entries. Highlighted dates means that there are journal entries made, and dates shaded with diagonal lines indicate that there's a comment from yourself or your practitioner. When making a journal entry, you will need to ensure you select the desired date first. On the right-hand side, you'll see how many entries you made for the day. If your practitioner has set daily targets for you, you'll see how many targets have been met. Right below this, you'll see your nutrient target details as well as a full breakdown of the foods entered into your journal for the day. Now let's take a closer look at the food and mood journal. In order to add entries, you can either click on the add entry button or by clicking the red fast action button, log food. If you want to generate a nutritional breakdown for your food entries, it is recommended that you utilize the food database to search your food. You can do this by typing in your food and selecting the desired option. When adding an entry, beside the Save button, you'll see a plus button button. If you click on this button, it'll allow you to continue to add food items without having to select Add Entry each time. If the food item you're searching for is not in the database, you can utilize a freeform entry to write what you ate in your own words. After you type in your food item, it may populate with a suggested food item from the database along with its nutritional information. If you select Use Data, you can populate nutritional information within the entry. However, this is not exact values as it's guessing the serving size based on your description. It is always recommended to use the food database for a more precise breakdown. Alternatively, you have the option of adding custom foods by selecting Add a new food. When you're creating a new food, you can also enter the nutritional breakdown yourself. You can also add custom recipes by selecting Add a recipe. When you're creating a recipe, you can search for the ingredients you're using from the nutritional database. When these foods are added, they'll be reusable for future entries by selecting My Foods or the My Recipes tab. If you're using the mobile app, you can add a photo of your food or use the barcode scanner, which will populate the scanned item's nutritional information. Within the app, the option to scan a barcode will be visible in this menu. If you tend to repeat what you eat, you can select recent food entries at the bottom when adding a new entry. Or you can copy food entries from another day by selecting the Copy Entries button on the journal dashboard. From here, select the day that you want to copy from and the meal. This is a great option for those who meal prep and repeat dishes throughout the week. It saves you a lot of time from having to re-enter the same foods. If you ever need to delete or modify your entry, simply click on the More Options button next to the food entry. Click on the following icon to open the nutritional breakdown for a specific food or the entire meal. You can specify where you ate your meal, your hunger before and after eating, and how you feel before and after eating by clicking on the pencil icon directly beneath your entry. This information can be very useful to your practitioner in understanding the correlation between what you're eating and how you're feeling. When logging your water intake, you can quickly add water by selecting the cups. If you press the plus two cups, it will add two cups to your total water consumed for the day. 
If you select the Edit Total button, you can manually enter in the number of cups you drink. Now let's take a look at the Lifestyle Journal. To add a Lifestyle Journal entry, click on the red Fast Action button, log a Lifestyle Entry. As you can see, there are different categories for you to choose from. When adding an Exercise Entry, you'll be able to describe your activity and add your time and duration to receive an estimation on calories burned. You can also categorize your activity as well as let your practitioner know how you felt before and after the activity. Under the measurement section, you can track your measurements and vitals, which your practitioner can view and analyze on their end. If your measurements have stayed the same, you can also copy from a previous entry. Under the mood section, you'll be able to share with your practitioner how it is that you're feeling. The poop section will allow you to track your bowel movements and any important information to note for your practitioner. If you don't have a Fitbit or Apple Health integrated, you can manually track your sleep in the sleep section by entering the time you went to bed, the duration, and how you feel about your sleep quality and how many times you woke up at night. There's also an additional notes section so that you can give your practitioner any additional information that you want to share. You can also add an image or a document by clicking on this button here. The last section you may have access to is the analysis tab. This section allows you to generate graphs and see trends for historical entries you've made in your journals. At the top left, you select what you're looking to analyze and the time period that you'd like to see. Below, you will see a graph and chart showing all the historical entries you've made, as well as an option to compare the entries against one another. This information can also be exported to your computer by clicking on the More Options button at the top right and clicking Export Entries. This concludes the walkthrough of the journals in the Client Portal. Please check out our Help Center for more information and resources.